Well, I just got myself some Assault Reynolds wheels and uh, yeah, they look pretty cool, but uh, I'm having a bit of a problem with the uh, free hub. Um, I'm not too sure if it's a DT Swiss or it's a KT hub, but um, when I dropped it off at the local bike shop, had a bit of a problem changing to my 11 speed from a 10 speed. So um, I don't know what that's all about. So um, they're gonna try and see if they can fit my Campagnolio DT Swiss free hub onto it on Monday. But uh, failing that, I'll have to probably have a look to see if it's a KT hub and then get a KT Campagnolio to fit to it. And I believe you can get these from Reynolds. But if anyone's got any advice on those old Reynolds wheels like the Assault, they may have an old KT hub or if they've got a DT Swiss hub and uh, what's the way to get a Campagnolio hub on them or 11 speed Shimano hub on them, just let me know down below. But yeah, the wheels look really good and uh, it just goes to show what you can get for your money. Now, these wheels, cost me about 300 Aussie because uh, I actually exchanged some parts for it but um, probably worth about 300 so this is the thing if you if you can I know I'm having a little bit of a problem now getting the right free hub but uh, I'll get that sorted out or we'll work something out or even if they have have to have an old 240 point on it which I have here then I'll have to go that route but the wheels look in really good condition it just goes to show what you can pick up for the price and um, you know this is this is one of the the negatives if you have a newer bike you have one of the new bikes that has the different types of wheels and and has disc brakes and all that then you're really kind of stuck you can't sort of pick up some of this older stuff because even even though you may have compatibility problems you still can't change things out to get them to work because none of the rim brake stuff works with the old um sorry any of the disc brake wheels don't work with the old rim brake stuff. It just, the, the spacing at the back is completely different. The spoking is completely different. So you just can't pick up old cheap wheels to enhance your, your bike because you have to buy all new stuff. And I mean, yeah, if you've got the money, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not that short of a quid and I've got a pretty good job, but even still, you know, when you're spending and you want a set of carbon wheels, if they're disc wheels, you could be looking at, you know, Aussie, you know, $1,500, $2,000 upwards. So that's what you need to consider, even if you go for a fairly good name okay. Chinese wheel, it still works out. I think uh, wind space wheels are about 1100 US, which probably would be about 1500 Aussie. So they're still not that cheap. They're, they're are, they are very good value, but uh, they're not super cheap. And even if you go for some of the other cheaper Chinese wheels, you come a little bit unstuck because they're still, you know, they're not hundreds, they're thousands. Whilst, you know, you pick up secondhand wheels um, on these, these secondhand markets, you can get them for a few hundred dollars. So that's where you get unstuck, but I'll keep you updated with what's happening with that wheel and uh, what I need to get the three hub working. So I can either run Campagnolio uh, free hub or a Shimano SRAM free hub because the 11 speeds are pretty good because all of the models you can run whatever and they still work. But uh, eventually I do want to go to a 12 speed using those wheels. So I will actually need a Campagnolio free hub on there. Okay guys, well that's where I'm gonna leave it. Just a short video to let you know that uh, I picked up some a uh, bit of a bargain with some Reynolds wheels. And uh, I'll catch you next week guys. Cheers, bye.